I get asked all the time if I put interiors in my builds, and generally I don't. But if I do, it's very minute details. And I thought today would be a great day to make a video explaining how you can do what appears to be amazing interiors in your builds with very little effort. I'm taking this build to Brick Fair, Virginia with me, and I thought, you know what, it would be a great time to kind of slow down, take a minute, and show you that if you look through the windows of this building, you can see all different types of scenes and things going on. Now, keep in mind, there's really not a lot of detail in there, and that's what brings me to want to make this particular video, because to just stand back and look like this building is in progress, the inside of the building looks busy. You can see a minifig watching TV, and you can see what appears to be a lamp, and then a kitchen behind him. And then we can look over in this side window here. Once I get a light in it anyway, you can see that there is a minor bathroom. And then I also have some windows blocked out to look like blinds are closed. And that's why I wanted to stop and make this video, because to show you, you don't have to do a whole lot to the interior to make it appealing and very decorative to the eye of somebody looking at your build as a display because you're not going to take this building apart while you have it on display. The only thing people can do is walk up and physically look inside the windows, just like you can see down here. Now, the first floors, I generally do do a lot of details, and that's because, well, to me, the first floors are always lit up really well. But again, the, the top floors, the inside, like this room, I just have a couch. I have a brick with a light on the front of it to appear like a TV. I made a makeshift lamp. And then over here in the corner, I just have some really basic looking cabinets with some cups on top to resemble the kitchen. And then I put this in as a curtain. Now, I also blocked these windows out here. And let me show you what I'm doing. These are all great ideas for curtains and they help to add to a lot of detail with your builds. You can use these bricks here and just stack them up. You can use these bricks. I believe these are called fluted and these are called palisade. But the point in me showing you these is both of these give you a texture. So when you're looking at the window, it has that curtained textured look about the window. So that helps to add the detail. And then even with this, you can use some slopes and you can make what appears to be curtains. And then the little gold piece is a tie back. You can even do super simple furniture. I've got two cups. I got one cup of gray and one cup of brown from my pick a brick wall not that long ago, but you can put some of those on a plate with some plates on the side and you have a couch, you have a chair, or you can simply put some round one by one studs underneath it and you have some chairs for a kitchen table. This is a three by three round with simply having one plate and a round stud underneath it. Now for the kitchen, we can do some quick snap building and it looks like we have our kitchen cabinets. Then over here we have a really quick basic lamp and then we even have a quick and easy build for the air conditioners for the buildings. Now, let me show you how quickly I can decorate this floor now. So on the exterior, we're gonna go ahead and put an air conditioner on that window. We don't want anybody to be able to see in this window. So let's take this gray piece, and pop it right in front of that window. So now that room looks decorated. Let's take this lamp and pop that down in this room like it's a bedroom. We can even make a little two by six bed to pop down here. But now that we're in the living room area, we're going to take our little kitchenette area piece, put it in the corner like so, and let's leave these windows open, but let's block this window out and this window out. So we're gonna take this brown piece we made for the curtains, we'll block that window out. Let's come over here and we will block this window out. Then in the living room itself, let's put a chair, let's see, let's put a chair here. And let's spin this over here and put another chair right next to it. That'll be our little living room. And now let's, since this is our kitchen area, let's just do two chairs. And now let's add the table. And there we go. Like I said, I know it's not super decorative, but that is not the point. The point is to make it look decorative from the outside. Now, I'm not gonna do the lighting in this video, but I just wanna show you, once you get it in place and put it up on top, 
Now when you're looking at the building, you can see that you just added a bunch more details. And now that I realize that I have the gray and the white here, I'm going to put the gray over here and, and verse them around. But I'm hoping this gives you a really good idea how to make a building look like it is fully furnished, even though it really isn't because it really makes a building look amazing and completed by doing that simple process.